Hey, I'm Jason. Today in the lab, we're testing some ultra high strength fasteners. All right, we're back at our load cell test fixture. We're gonna measure a regular old hardware store bolt against something you would find in a race car engine. All right, this is a grade five fastener. We're gonna take this to the spec of 33 foot pounds. We're gonna see how much clamping force we generate. And then we're just gonna turn up the torque and break this thing with a tensile fracture and see how much clamping force it generates at its peak. All right, after that, we've got a 260,000 PSI tensile strength fastener. We're gonna take this to the spec of 75 foot pounds. Then we're gonna take it all the way up and see how much torque it takes to break this fastener. All right, let's compare these two things. We'll check it out on our rig here. So we got our power tool programmed for 33 foot pounds. We're gonna start by lubricating the fastener with this ultra torque assembly lube. Try not to make too big of a mess here. All right, here we go. All right, we got our 33 foot pounds of torque, but we generated over 4,000 pounds of clamping force. All right, now let's take this thing all the way up and put enough torque on it to break this bolt and see what kind of torque it takes and what kind of clamping force is generated. Here we go. There it is. That thing stretched way out. All right, so this is the result of our first failure, and something I didn't quite expect to happen really clearly happened when we zoom in and take a look at it. So the whole of this block, so we use this steel block to tighten against the screw against. And if we zoom in, kind of focus, you can see there's a rather large chamfer that's functionally making the hole bigger diameter than it should be for this screw. So if we look at what it meant for the screw, you can see that we got significant deformation under the head. And what this is functionally doing is driving friction way up. So the right solution to this is to use a washer or find a block with a smaller hole. And that's what we've done with our setup. So we're gonna rerun this test with a smaller diameter hole and see if we can't get friction in a little more stable condition. It should drop that failure torque level down a bit more into the real world situation of using a bolt like this. All right, let's see what happens. All right, so we retook our baseline. We're back at 33 foot pounds, but this time we generated 6,800 pounds of clamping force. That's 2,000 pounds higher than it was when I had the wrong size through hole on this that was causing the friction to be much higher. So we, you can see from this how much the friction affects the clamping force, even though the torque is so close together. So let's keep this as our baseline. Let's rewrite our program and do a full failure test and see how much torque this thing really takes to break. Okay, here we go. There it is. So the first trial we did at this, you can see the bearing surface is heavily damaged. Right? We, we, on their second trial, we reduced the size of the through hole, and we got a much smoother bearing surface. This is what we want to see when we're tightening bolts. So good thing to watch out for. I'm glad this happened because it really shows the demonstration of friction changing in certain conditions, causing problems with the tightness of the bolt. We can see the second bolt had higher clamping force, even at a lower torque. Friction was much more stable when we keep the right components in the joint. All right, so now it's time for our ultra high strength fastener. This bolt, goes in the most critical applications. This is for a connecting rod for a race engine. And if this bolt comes loose, you have catastrophic damage to the engine. This bolt has to stay tight. And it is made of a material that's twice as strong as our grade five bolt. This is good for 260,000 PSI of tensile strength. Let's put the recommended 75 foot pounds of torque into this joint and see how much clamp load we generate. And then we'll remove all the stops and hopefully get enough torque to break this bolt and see what it's really capable of. Let's check it out. Nice. All right. So we got 10,000 pounds of clamping force on this at our 75 foot pounds. Let's crank the torque all the way up and break this bolt. Good. All right, here it is. There. Oh, oh, that was it. We damn. Oh, look at what we did. This is gonna actually be hard to get apart. Oh man. Uh, that's probably the end of the testing. 
All right, so that was our failure attempt at the ultra high tensile strength fastener, but our socket was the weak point. I shouldn't have trusted a random socket from our toolbox. I should have ordered a real socket to really try to put the right amount of torque on this thing. We did get to more than double the installation torque. We did achieve over 20,000 pounds of clamping force, but now my load cell is trapped and I'm gonna have to get a cutoff wheel to get this fastener all the way out. All right, so until I get a new socket, we're gonna have to put this test on pause, but I promise you we will break this bolt. We'll show you guys how much torque it takes to really break an ultra high tensile strength fastener. All right, see you next time.